Well, did you feel it? It's really cold out there tonight. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo joins us live in Simi Valley, where it's dipping down to right around freezing overnight, Christy. <laughs> You know, it is already very, very cold. In fact, it has been dropping a couple of degrees every hour here in Simi Valley. Right now, my weather app says it's 39 degrees. And with temperatures this low, it quickly becomes apparent who are the native Southern Californians and who are the transplants. Too bad moonlight doesn't provide any heat. That's why on Ventura Boulevard and in Simi Valley, this rare sighting. People wearing coats and hats and pants and scarves. It's enough to inspire this tweet. So cold in L.A., I had to put socks on today. And the East Coast is rubbing it in. Check out this tweet. 66 in New Hampshire right now. Got the windows down and sunroof open like a beautiful spring day. I was born in Alaska, so this is, you know, this is nothing. I hate it. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> it's a sentiment echoed in this Twitter SOS. The struggle is real, America. Please send coats and blankets and Starbucks. And speaking of Starbucks, outdoor seating was plentiful. Not even hot coffee was enough to keep these seats warm. Bundling up, double layers, thermals. Do you have some advice for, you know, us native Californians who don't know how to dress for this? <laughs> don't wear shorts. Don't wear sandals. Put on a coat. You're good. It's advice Greg Darvisian ignored, but he's from Buffalo. I usually do shorts. And there you go. How cold does it have to get for you to stop wearing shorts? Oh, it would at least have to be possibly raining uh, and, and, and colder than this. You know, and this pretty much says it all. Right now in New York City, it is 17 degrees warmer than it is in Simi Valley. Let that sink in. Back to you.